Crystal and I were actually, we went to high school together. So we've, we've known each other a long time. Um, we're 15. So, yeah. She must have thought I was funny or something. So, <laughs> so we, it stuck. We were in church. I don't, I don't know that the personal relationship with Christ was real deep. Your basic surface level, you go to church, you say some prayers at night, but it's when you start having kids, you realize like, okay, I really need some help. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I need more help than what I can, you know, than what I can provide. And we were going to church, but we weren't really super connected. We didn't have a church family. Yeah. We, we were going to a very large church and it, it was, it was a bit of a lonely yeah. time. And for us, like we knew we needed that. We needed a body of people who were gonna pray over us and just, you know, do life with us. And so it was probably at the point when the kids were, we could tell the kids were very disconnected. So on Sunday mornings, it's like, we're taking two kids to church that are in tears and yeah. It just I, wasn't the right thing. Yeah, I finally, finally just, you know, um, I told Chris, I'm like, we, we're, we've we got to redo this. We needed to kind of go from coming in and coming out to like really participating and being a part of like the church. Yeah. So. We kind of just map it out. Like we're going to go to this one this day, this one this Sunday, and yeah. hopefully by Somewhere between one and three, we'll find something, you know, because we did that for probably a couple months. But at that point, we were kind of like frustrated. We were either going to make a decision to take some time off or we were going to settle and go to somewhere else and just be okay with it. You know, I really felt like the Lord was just saying, keep going. Brecken at school um, has a friend that goes to church at Connect and he brought in a invitation and so then that was the first time um, that we came to Connect. Uh, I do remember uh, driving into the parking lot and you know we've got kind of an older looking building at that time you know and so I was like well as soon as you get to the bottom of the stairs I remember I did you know they open the doors for you and I first see Yulia and she had a huge smile on her face. I remember her saying, hey, you know, welcome. You know, I've not seen you before. Do you got, would you guys like a tour of the church? You know, we see this really big tall guy with this big beard and <laughs> he's hugging everybody. And I remember just the sense of like genuine people were in this building. You felt like people noticed you and actually cared about you. We just started going every Sunday yeah. since that first time. So, you know, we started out very, very in the shallow end of the pool, I guess, as far yeah. as serving. I really felt like the Lord was saying, there's more time you can give. We started helping out in, on red carpet, doing the open opening doors thing, and it just kind of progressed. It just kind of snowballed really quickly for, you know, where they needed us. We start serving at church. We start, you know, serving not for ourselves, but for Him and for the church. Do you realize that now that faith was being built every day. My relationship with Christ is as strong as it's ever been. Yeah. And it feels so much different than it did two years ago. I feel like I'm a better husband. I feel like I'm a better father. I feel like I have more patience. I feel different. Well, it's probably last August. Brecken came to me and, and he's eight and he said, Dad, I, I went up front for prayer at our service. And um, I prayed and gave my life to Christ. And I said, oh, whoa, that's like, you know, that's, that's big stuff, you know. <laughs> so I was, we were shocked and uh, excited. excited for him. My mind always goes back to them two crying in the backseat of our car. <laughs> but seeing Breck and water baptized in October, there's nothing, <laughs> there, there was nothing, and there will never be anything that will top that. Yeah. It was incredible. I can only attribute that to the Lord. He... He put connect in our life exactly when we need to connect. Yeah. It was exactly when the kids need to connect. It's, a, it's an amazing community of people. They're like our church family. I have so many people in two years that I've met at Connect that I could call and if I need something, I, they would help. If yeah. I needed prayer, they would pray. I remember how I felt that first second that I walked into Connect. I want somebody else to feel like that. I want them to feel like they have a home here, that they that they just feel exactly like we felt. Yeah. So comfortable, so welcome. And it started at the front door. Yeah. It just really did for us. It just started at the front door. Yeah. And then it just continued to get better and better and better. 